okay guys so we are going to build the uh, VT all rounder intermediate wing today so there can be two options uh, uh, you can get this wing one is you uh, if you have bought the VT all rounder with the intermediate wing or you have bought this as an add-on uh, wing for the all rounder the, inter the intermediate wing is designed for uh, pilots who can who want to learn to fly with ailerons so a full four channel airplane uh, we have designed it this so that you can use one servo for the aileron um, and uh, fly this they should be able to do all basic aerobatics and uh, be a very responsive uh, docile uh, yet docile uh, good all round good airplane to fly so what comes in the kit so uh, here is what all you need so you need a left and a right uh, wing core for the intermediate wing so you'll have uh, written uh, right and a left and apart from this uh, you need a lamination roll uh, there, there would be two sheets of lamination roll the decals um, control rods you need two control rods the wing adapter bases these are the two foam wing adapter bases which will be used uh, in the build then these are the three dihedral braces you need uh, there are two bigger ones and a thinner one for the rear end so three dihedral braces this is all what comes uh, in the package for the add-on wing or if you have bought the full uh, vt all rounder then you would be having all these uh, pieces so let's move on and go ahead and start the build uh, and we'll see how it comes up so okay uh, we'll start the build process by laminating the wings and how do you identify which one is a left and right of course it is written but uh, the easiest way to identify is that the root sides are sanded at a slight angle so like we can see if you can see in the video this is slightly angled so this is uh, this would be the root side of course their foil is like this and this would make it the right wing the left wing okay, this is the left wing the root side is this and you can see that the right the root side is angled the angle is uh, to get the dihedral angle correct so we'll take these off the of the wing beds and the first step is uh, to laminate these using the lamination roll so how do we do it the best way to do it is first of all remove the wing and you can use the wing bed as we had shown earlier in the trainer wing build that you can use the wing bed as a base when laminating to reduce chances of burping so i think we'll, as a standard procedure let's follow that and for that we will cut this base into a top and a bottom half Yeah, I think you should cut this in two passes because the foam is pretty tough. Hold. And the second pass, the foam will cut right through. So, we end up in having a top and a bottom. The first thing you should do at this point is write uh, on this. So, this is a right side. So, we'll write right bottom and a right top you need to write this so the you so that you don't mix up the wing beds uh, once you start cutting the left side also um, 
both the wing beds are of a slightly different shape uh, to cater for the washout so you need to uh, make sure you use the right ones okay so our wing uh, the wing you put the wing on the bottom wing bed and now we are going to lightly sand this uh, using a 320 grit sandpaper uh, which is provided with our kit not with the iron wing the sanding has to be very light gentle and this is to remove any uh, dust which comes from the hot wire CNC just a uh, sand in straight lines to remove the outer layer you will notice once after you sand it this will appear to be much smoother than it was before so and for the other side we will put it on the top bed again putting it on the bed is the safest way to make sure your wing is not damaged the wing beds are the perfect fit for your, for your wing in fact you can use them later for transportation as well Remove so you can see that only the dust has been removed and the wing. Oh yeah, and of course we have forgotten uh, till this part. You will of course need the two aluminium spars. Uh, the two aluminium spars are going to be included in the kit, and I think we will install them right after we laminate the wing. So this is ready likewise what we will do is i think uh, we laminate this first before we move on to the other one so let's get back okay these are the two aluminium spars which are going to be included in the kit as well these spars are meant to be put in through these holes and we'll use epoxy to uh, glue these in place but We'll just do that in a minute uh, after we have uh, laminated these uh, wings. Okay, so we are uh, we have sanded our wing. Uh, then we sand a little bit of the leading edge also, very gently to so don't change the shape of the uh, wing. Now we are ready to laminate this. So here are the two lamination rolls. Uh, we'll use one sheet each for the wing for each wing panel and the idea is that we'll start by laminating the top edge leaving a little bit of trailing material here and we'll go around while the wing is on the wing bed so that we don't warp it and we'll go around and stick it on the other side so but before we do uh, the lamination we have to clean the foam dust of the foam using a cloth gently clean it up we need to do all of this to make sure the lamination adheres well. Okay, so we are ready to uh, put the lamination sheet. I think you will need a couple of hands, extra hands with this. To make it as wrinkle free as possible. Okay, hold. That one. Okay. This one. This one. This one. Stick. This sticker. Sticker. This one. Okay. Pull this back. Okay. Okay. Pull this back. So 
we'll leave about one centimeter out on the trailing edge that will be trimmed down later and uh, if when you are applying the lamination sheet just go down and slowly so that there are no wrinkles And once you have reached the leading edge, you take this out and we will put the other wing bed. This is the second wing bed. We take off the entire material. and hitch case gently while you are pulling this or hitch case Okay, it is very important to do this on the wing bed because till the wing is laminated it is very easy to warp it and once done it is usually a permanent feature of the wing so okay now we have this uh, laminated what we'll do is that we will we will seal the trailing edge on the top and the bottom ones and then we'll trim out all of the excess material carefully. Hmm. Yeah. We need to do it in two passes uh, to get this properly cut out. Okay. Still here. From here. You can you can uh, keep this material to use later on as well. Okay, so we will now trim off the side edges. We'll do it for the tip side.
Okay then. So our wing is now laminated and now our next step would be on this wing would be to install the spar here and after the spar we will cut out the ailerons and then we'll repeat the whole process for the other side of the wing. So let's install the spar now. To install the spar uh, first what we'll do is if there's a foam foam piece inside the spar hole like in this case we'll remove it and then we'll test fit the spar to make sure the length is correct looks like the length is correct yeah it should be a couple of mm inside both sides so this is the right wing we maybe it's a good idea to write at the back an r to indicate it's a right wing so to install this part what we'll do is uh, we'll mix up some epoxy and uh, we can also sand the spar a little bit to make sure the epoxy adheres well by scratching the shiny surface. The entire sanding is usually enough. And we'll mix a handsome amount of epoxy because epoxy creates a fillet. You can also use uh, PU polyurethane glue, foam glue here. Uh, that is perhaps the ideal glue to use. But today we are going to use epoxy. Okay, we have mixed uh, the epoxy here now. Be sure to mix equal amounts and stir thoroughly and hold what we'll do is we'll apply this epoxy over the spar mainly across the surface I think you need to mix more epoxy and coat this the whole spar very well all for now so mix a handsome amount of epoxy. That's it. So the epoxy is 5 minute epoxy and uh, it gives a sufficient time but still you need to act very quickly and uh, be sure to stir very thoroughly. Okay, so we have uh, mixed 5 minute epoxy and coated our spar with that and we are going to now insert it into our wing. Do this as you rotate the wing, as you rotate the spar so that the epoxy coats the inside, entire inside surface of the wing and results in a very strong bond. Okay. and this edge should be slightly inside the outside edge clean this up clean up the mess and the spar is now installed we'll let it cure and we'll uh, now cut the ailerons as this cures I think uh, 
Um, we can cut the advance now. <laughs>